Welcome back to Mystery Commander, where we pull our commander from our butts, i.e. from a random pack. And whichever commander is in this pack, this is what we craft our deck with. So right off the bat, got a rare wild card, so I'm okay with that. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> I got Solo Wind Grace. I'm pretty sure I'm going to choose him because he's a freaking cat. That's perfect. Um, Let's see. I got Hilda. I haven't I actually I don't think I've played with either of them, so she is a possible option for us. Okay, so the only two potential commanders is Soul of Wind Grace or Hilda. So Soul of Wind Grace deals with lands. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you may put a land card from a graveyard from a graveyard onto the battlefield tapped under your control. And then you can discard lands for various effects. Hilda of the Icy Crown, whenever you tap an untapped creature an opponent controls. You may pay one when you do you can choose one and then it has various effects so i i will be honest i've never played with either of them i don't know if i have cards that let me tap creatures and opponent controls i'll be honest i don't know i feel like solo wind grace has been around i don't think i've seen hilda being used as a commander so let's try with her we are in our absolute favorite format which is historic brawl we'll grab hilda i'm gonna try with her first I need to tap opponent's creatures. So what would I even tap a creature, an opponent? That's the only kind of wording I can think of. Okay, so actually when I searched specifically for the Wilds of Old Drain set and looked for all the cards, not just the ones I have, tap creature actually comes with some results that seem to kind of go hand in hand with Hilda. There's actually some cards that go really well with Hilda, and a lot of them are commons and uncommons, so we'll just throw those in. I do like this idea of putting stun counters on creatures and opponent controls to kind of buy you an extra turn with it tapped. Oh, Sheree? First of all, be beautiful card art. Second of all, she'll let me draw cards every time I tap creatures, so I'm absolutely going to add her. Oh my word, <laughs> Hilda has an artifact. So we have her crown, which lets me essentially tap, if it's my turn, tap target creature. Oh my word. <laughs> that's a must. If you're going to play with Hilda, that's an easy one. I guess the idea with Hilda is you want to tap as much as possible. Also potentially putting stun counters to buy you time. But ideally, you could probably just rush to get those four fours out. But then you also have the opportunity to buff up all your critters and also draw cards. So I guess what I want to do is add some of these cheaper cards that allow me to pay some mana to tap target critters. And maybe hopefully kind of speed that up. Some of them are expensive, like pay three to tap a target creature, pay four to tap a target creature. I feel like four is going to be... A little too much. Oh, you know what? But there are spells that let us destroy tapped critters, so we can add those as well. Ooh, my question is, if I play a card like this one where I can tap up to two target creatures, is Hilda going to let me trigger twice? That's my question. Let's see if we can answer it. Oh my goodness, I take it back. I had plenty of cards that work with Hilda. This is amazing. Oh, you know what? We need to put Urza in here because I'm playing a lot of instants and sorcery spells to tap my opponent's critters. I actually might, possibly, I might be able to transform him. Let me go grab the Might Stone and Weak Stone. Okay, so that's exactly 100 cards. Let's see how many wild cards I spent. Actually, I have enough. Oh my goodness, this worked out. A little expensive on the wild cards, but that was that was suspiciously easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, I mean, my mana curve is near perfect. I have such a nice little split. Well, I guess it's not a super even split between creatures and non-creatures, but I mean, it's not like I have way more non-creature spells than creature spells. I only have 19 more. So we'll see how that does. But I have a pretty even split between white and blue. So we'll see. I'll put the deck list down below in the description. And yeah, knock on wood. Hopefully everything worked out. All right, matchmaker. Go easy on me because I don't know how competitive Hilda is. Ooh. 
Ooh, I don't think I've seen this commander. Maybe I have. I don't know. This looks like a horrible hand. Um, two islands, no planes. No, and I need a third land to even play relic. Can I get? That's. I will take that. All right. When it enters the battlefield, you may pay three. If you do, proliferate twice. Um. Oh, I love that. It's great. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this as the blue side. All right. Well, I actually have blue. You gonna you gonna brainstorm? That's my guess. Oh, okay. All right, so he's going to want to play this. Oh, my goodness. My worry is that he's going to throw a bunch of Planeswalkers in his deck. That's what I would do if I had a proliferation deck. That's what I would do. Um. Oh, gosh. I can't do anything. That's a sorcery. That's a sorcery. Instant. Oh, Midnight Clock. I love that. Okay, so there's that. I have one or two. Mm, I think I should wait. I'm assuming. Oh, he needs to just play one more land and then he can proliferate this twice. Oh. I guess what I could do is I could wait and see if I can kind of like snag up the Wandering Empire. Empire? Emperor? My bad. Is there any way I can get rid of. Nah. Okay. I feel like they would be tempted. I feel like they would be tempted to proliferate twice and then hopefully they'll attack. Oh no! Okay, oh well that it's fine with me as long as you don't counter. The fact that the game paused. Alright, let's get rid of the one thing that has counters, although I just realized, oh man. Midnight clock has counters too, so that's gonna proliferate to four and then to eight. Get rid of that somehow. I don't think I can get rid of Midnight Clock. Unfortunate. Um, okay. What's gonna be my next move here? I can play. Let's do this. Arcane Signet. Throw that on. Get let, let's get Hilda out. I want to keep Wandering Emperor on the board, so let's throw a plus one plus one counter. On Hilda. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. They have plenty to proliferate twice. Oh no. That many plus one counters. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my goodness. Oh, lovely. Alright, so they're gonna proliferate all that twice. That's great. I'm assuming they're gonna go for the wandering emperor. So they'll, they'll be able to reshuffle midnight. Wait, does it not proliferate twice? Oh, proliferate just puts one counter. Why was I thinking it doubles the counters? I... For, <coughs> For some reason, I had it in my mind that proliferation was doubling the counters. That's horrible. Oh, what whatever's going on here is absolutely horrible. At least I have ways of stunning. Oh my gosh. That was heartbreaking. Okay. I mean, I could get rid of the Wandering Emperor to just get rid of that to begin with. So I could do that. I kind of want to. Okay, when it enters the battlefield, you may pay two when you do tap target creature. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get much use out of her because I'm kind of limited on mana. First roll... Enchanted creature has base power and toughness one. Okay, base power and toughness one. I think it's in my best interest. As much as I like the Wandering Emperor, I think I should just get rid of that. <laughs> An 11-11 is scary. We'll get rid of that. Let's do... Um... Let's stun. Three sun counters on it is solid. Let's stun this. Perfect. Put short up on top. 
Um, let's auto pay with the one. Let's make a, oh my goodness. Let's make a 4-4. Four, four. And then, um, let's do, that's a sorcery. I need to get rid of that timer, please. Let's just swing and see if they double block. I'd be okay. Oh, no. She has toughness five. I just saw that. I still have a 4-4, four, four, though. Tap one or two target creatures and opponent controls. Put a stun counter on each of them. So I could get rid of all of them. I think what I'll do... Um, Let's do this instead. Let's make this a 1-1. One, one. And let's pay the extra one. Let's make... Let's go ahead and draw. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, give me both of those. I'm okay with that. So I have some time. Oh no. Oh, there goes Midnight Clock. So that's popped up. Man, can they just, can they proliferate the stun counters? That would be marvelous. I would not mind it if they, they proliferated that. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Oh no! They have plenty of card draw. So they essentially, every spell they cast, they'll be able to untap everything. Oh my goodness. How do they get, how do they get rid of... Oh, they're gonna get rid of the sun counters because of Paradox Engine! Why did they stop just there? Oh, untap all non-land permanents. I thought they were going to untap all the non-land permanents. I just realized that Paradox Engine is going to get rid of those stun counters. That's horrible. Way to go. All right. What do I do? I need land. Where's my land? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Where's the ones that have this done? Um, that actually just gives hexproof. I just realized that. Um, Let's do... Let's do Teferi, because he's going to allow me the opportunity to tap stuff. Up to one target artifact, up to one target creature, and up to one target land. Uh, I'm tapping, correct? Or untapping? Oh, that's what I need to do. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Let's do that. Enters the battlefield. Dang it, actually. Oh, undo that. Never mind. I don't have the mana for that. Let's just tap that. Um, tap a critter. Sacrif oh, that's sacrifice. That's going to get annoying. And tap the ch uh, lands. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to Tiberi. I don't play with this one a whole lot. Auto pay. That's nice, though, because he'll untap the land that I need. Um, let's go ahead and create another 4-4. Four, four. Let's do... Let's do an extra combat. Let's just swing in with everything, question mark. Oh, but you know what? They might actually chump block with their commander to play next turn. They w actually, if I were them, I would do that. Oh, they won't? Okay. I'll take that one less critter for them. That's fine. Um, let's see. This is an instant. So I can save that for next turn. I have two mana. Might as well. Oh. I hate this. They do have planeswalkers, and this is the this is the one that's gonna give them counters for every card that they draw. So they're gonna buff this to fair up real quick. This hurts. And they already untapped the hydroid. Holy. Oh my gosh. Dang. They have an amazing combo here, and I absolutely hate it. I can't help but love it too. They already have him up to 10. Didn't they just play Teferi this turn? They're already- Oh my gosh, they're gonna ultimate him on turn one. What is his ultimate? I don't remember. Chooses a permanent. They control and returns to an opponent's hand. 
Oh my word. Seventeen! What do I even want? Choose a permanent to return to your land hands. So I don't need to worry about the lands. I guess I'll keep Hilda hand. You know what? I actually just realized I don't have a board wipe in this deck. They're still going! They played to Fairy this turn, got him up to 17, made his ultimate, and he's ending the turn with 11. Oh, yeah, I don't have him. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, um, okay, I will be updating. I'm going to update this deck because um, I have learned I have learned that I need to um, add a board wipe to this deck. I will make these changes in the deck list down below. Dang, that was quick. Okay, so <laughs> take two. We have some board wipes. So we have a hope. Oh, stop. I have Hilda's crown. It's going to be amazing. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead. Gosh, let me go ahead and just play one of these backlands. Um, hang on. I don't remember what Yenna does. So I'm going to need a hot reminder. K2, tap, choose target enchantment you control that doesn't have the same name as another permanent you control. Create a... Oh, a copy. I love that. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. Please don't get rid of the crown. Please. I want to try this out. I really want to try this out. Oh my gosh. This has hexproof though, so I can't tap. Goodness. Okay. And I'm not going to tap my own Hilda, so that's fine. This ability costs one less to activate during your turn. So I can tap on their turn if needed. So that is an option. I can pay three sacrifice to draw a card for each type of creature your opponent controls. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um well we can go ahead and get this party started. Um, let's tap this, pay the two. Or no, sorry, pay one. Um, let's go ahead and just get some critters out on the board. Um, oh, those are all tapped. Actually, that's quite nice. Um, do I have a way to get rid of... <gasps> I do, because her hexproof is going to get a little... I don't want to lie, it's going to get a little annoying. So let's get rid of her real quick. I want critters that I can tap. Tap enchanted creature. Doesn't tap during the controller's untap step. Okay, maybe I'll say bitter chill. I just realized that's also Hilda. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, I just realized he's a five five. That's gorgeous. I hate that card. Oh dang it. Well, I'm not gonna block. I don't really have a way to gain life. Never mind. You're gonna. Why wouldn't you swing? I'm just gonna tap you anyways. Um, do I want to give you treasure tokens? That's the question. You have four lands. I think you're behind on lands. No, I went first. I'm about to be behind on lands. Is it worth it? I guess we have the mana at this point in time. So I guess, I guess I'll allow it. Let me go ahead and just tap. And you're all tapped out. That's fine. We'll pay one. Let's do... Did I... So I didn't play a land. I didn't play a land, so let's see if we can grab one. I don't have one. Um, 
Oh, Dungeon Geist is really nice. I think I will... Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab Dungeon Geist. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's fine. I had two. Um, Exile creature of the greatest power. Oh, perfect. Okay, so the token goes away. That's fine, because Hilda stays on the board. I'm okay with that. But I do have Might Stone, so if I, if I can find Urza, this will be an amazing... Man, I'm going to embarrass myself if I lose this game. <laughs> Starting with Hilda and this crown. I'm going to bring shame on y'all. Um, you're stuck on land, so let's go ahead and keep you there. Um, let's go ahead and tap this, and we might as well just grab another 4-4. Four -four. I think, I think that's what we have to do. Let's see, what we can also do, too... I mean, we're not going to be able to tap a critter, but we can lock one into place. So let's lock, let's lock this one into place. If I can get rid of Beast Whisperer, I will. So now we only have to worry about a 2-3 swinging, which our 4-4 four, four, and 3-4 can block. That's fine. I'm just worried about them starting to swing with their 5-5. Five, five. That's fine. We'll go ahead and swing for another 3. We're actually getting, we're whittling them down quite a bit. I'm... Cautiously optimistic about this game. Let's see, we do have some additional options for tapping. Oh gosh. Look at the top four cards of your library. That's fine. You're gonna reveal a land. That's what I figured. <laughs> We're both behind, so it's fine. I don't know why you tried to swing, but that's okay. Where's my land? Okay. Oh, do I keep auto-paying? I kind of want to get the Might Stone and Weak Stone out, but that's going to come in. in tapped. No, it doesn't come in tapped. Do I risk giving them... Why are they waiting to play Yenna? That's what I don't understand. Um, let's... Watch, I'm going to regret that. <laughs> Um, let's go ahead. Let's tap the 2-3. And what do we want to do? Do we want to create another 4-4 four, four or start putting... No, let's just... Let's create another critter. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, I... If I had one extra mana open, I could do Dungeon Geists. Um, I can do Clockwork. Make a combat. Choose up to one. Let's do that. Let's get Dream Shackle Geist going. And then, yeah, so we can either tap or lock down a critter. Um, you know what? It's beginning of your combat, so let's do this. Pay the last one and just put some one-one counters on our friends. This is beautiful! This is absolutely gorgeous. Please don't wipe the board. Please, please give me this one victory. I think it helps that they've been so land screwed. I just realized the Lord of the Rings lands are actual parts of the map. I love it. Okay, gaining life. That's fine. I have a 4-3 in the air. Okay, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if... Yeah, let's give you some mana. You do need it. Um, let's go ahead and tap this critter. Um, if we can get two counters on Dream Shackle. I think that's it. So there's one. Um, tap up to one target creature. Try and then draw a card. Actually, cancel. Hang on. Tap up to two target critters. Let's see if we can. Let's see if it works the way that I think it's going to work. Is Hilda going to trigger twice? That's my question. No, please let me answer the question. I just wanted to know. I also wanted to win, but I wanted to. Well, if y'all know whether or not Hilda would trigger twice, please let me know in the comments. Because 
Now I won't know, at least for the time being. 